In this Facebook hard tutorial, I will show you the easiest way to set up Facebook domain verification for your ad account. Verifying your domain in Facebook Business Manager allows you to manage permissions and prevent the misuse of your domain. So let me quickly show you the easiest Facebook domain verification setup and which should be done in just a few minutes. To begin, log into your Meta Business Suit via business.facebook.com and then you want to come down here and locate settings. You will click that. Then come down to brand safety and click the drop down arrow. Then click domain as you can see. No domain is on this account yet. So I will go ahead and click the blue hard button and select create a new domain. Then here you want to type in the domain URL and while doing so, a few things to note. Number one. You can only verify a root domain. That means you can't verify a subdomain, obviously. And number two, while adding your domain URL, make sure that you don't add any prefix such as HTTP or HTTPS. Just go ahead and type in or paste in the URL. And once that is done, I will click add. Okay, now Facebook has generously given us three different ways we can verify our domain and They've also given us a brief steps on how to verify them using any of our preferred methods among the three of course. So I will click the drop down arrow and make my choice by selecting it. And once I do, you will see the steps change. But as far as I'm concerned, the first method is the easiest of the three and most Facebook advertisers will agree with that fact. So all we have to do here is to copy this line of code and paste it on the header section of our website. I'll be demonstrating this with a WordPress website where all we need to do is to use a plugin to do this for us. So I'll go ahead and select the first option. But before we do that, I will come to my WordPress admin dashboard. And once I'm here, I will go to the plugin section and quickly install a plugin called WP Code. This plugin, I think it was formerly called Head and Footer, something like that. So here is it. I will activate it. And once the activation is complete, I will head back to Facebook and then copy the line of code. I will return to WordPress and come here and look for the WP Code Plugin tab. Once I hover on it, I will come to the header and footer section and click that. Then Facebook instructs that we add our line of code to the header section. So I will come here. This is the header section. If I scroll down, you will see that there is also the body section and the footer section. So I will open this line and just paste in my code here. It's that simple. Then I will save changes and return to Facebook. And once I've completed this process on my WordPress admin dashboard, I'll come in here and then click the blue verify button. Facebook says it might take up to 72 hours for us to see changes, but most time the verification is complete in a matter of seconds or minutes, just like my own here. Medicinalfood.com has been verified. Okay, and boom, you can see here that our domain has been verified. It's as easy as that. And then you can go ahead and add partners or asset to your newly verified domain if you want to. So if I fulfilled my promise I made at the beginning of this lesson, then please give this video a like. As you can see that my channel needs your support greatly and you will be supporting me when you like this video. If you want more easy to follow digital marketing tips like this one, then why not subscribe to this channel and turn on the alert bell so you get to know when I release my next video. Presently on your screen, as I've explained in details, everything you need to know to set up a Facebook business account the proper way so you can avoid confusion and especially Facebook bans and restrictions on your hard account setup. So make sure you check it out. Thank you. I'll see you in my next video.